guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Beautiful people, Sherry here. Welcome to this week's Twin Flame reading. Uh, so this is going to be from April 6th until the 18th, I think. Uh, sorry, the 13th. 6th until the 13th. So I hope you're all doing well. Um, so I just shuffled my little deck there. And I noticed the Two of Pentacles was at the bottom of the deck. Two of Pentacles is all about change and finding balance during that change, feeling like the world is, um, you know, shifting beneath your feet, feeling like you're juggling a thousand balls in the air. Okay, so I've got my big deck shuffled. So let me pull the cards first, and then we'll go through the positions. And I just want to say a special thanks to the patrons that have pledged um, to help, you know, keep the channel running. It, um, you know, without you guys, I probably wouldn't be doing the videos because um, I'm concentrating on the book and, and stuff like that. Eh? So you guys are keeping the channel running, and um, I thank you so much for that, you guys. Are amazing okay so I'm probably not going to pull any confirmation cards unless it's absolutely necessary we'll leave that for uh, the extended reading okay so I'm actually going to give this you know what let me pull this two pentacles up and just give this another quick shuffle all right so let's begin so starting with the feminist past position the page of pentacles let's see where is that light gonna look good maybe i'll just lift it up a bit all right so the page of pentacles um so this is concentrated effort on you know trying to create a successful endeavor for the future so this is a commitment to work you know hard work sitting down either studying uh trying to fine tune your your skills um, this could even mean moving to another location. So the feminine basically has had her uh, nose in the books, right? She's, she's looking for information and she's trying to better herself. So the page usually means uh, a new start. So this is a new beginning that took place in the past position. Okay, the masculine's past is the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, so pentacles is a major theme for the past. So this is all about the 3D reality. Um, so the the seven of pentacles is waiting for waiting for a return, waiting for a payoff. Um, but you're forced to pause, right? And so during this pause, you're reflecting on where you made mistakes, where things turned out great, where you want to invest your time and energy. So the masculine has been in a pause um, and is contemplating. Okay, so the present position for the feminine, the star, hope. So this is a healing energy. It, um, it offers hope for the future. So it comes in and you know vibrates your soul on a positive level and uplifts you. This card also means that your wishes uh, are coming true. So you're feeling optimistic about how the, the future is looking. So we see here that whatever you began in the past um, is, is giving you hope. It's, it's um, moving you forward. You're in, moving into a more positive vibration um, and you will see the fruits of your labor your wishes and dreams will come true. Okay, so what's in the masculine's present? Wow, yang. 
what's very cool about this card showing up here is that was the final outcome, wasn't it, for last week's Twin Flame reading? I can't really remember. Um, but I know, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a major theme. The masculine was finding himself, his truth, his power, his strength. So he's sitting in this energy. So during that phase of contemplation, um, you know, there was manifestation. There was, you know, he feels powerful as a result of the choices that he's made. So the yang is power. It's um, courage, uh, strength. Uh, he's a leader. Um, and it's extroverted energy as well. So, but I really see this as the masculine being in his truth, being in his, you know, the, the, the yang gets his power from authenticity. So, wow, very cool synchronicity. Okay, near future for the feminine, Ace of Cups. So, another new beginning. So, this is love coming into your life. So, it could be a new relationship. Um... Or it could be, you know, starting something with the masculine. So this card comes with conditions. Um, you need to have healed yourself, let go of the past and move on. Um, and, but you also need to be in a frame of mind where you're ready to receive love fully into your life, right? So this shows that you've done your work and, and the cards are, are reflecting that as well. near future for the masculine the universe card so this is the end of the fool's journey um so a major sense of accomplishment and the universe is patting you on the back um so we can see that there has something has completed you know we were waiting um you're feeling strong and confident and then that cycle completes so this represents your journey um, as a fool, you know, going through all the different stages of awakening. Um, and so in the near future, there will be this sense of accomplishment and success. Okay, so let's leave the final come for later. Um, we'll move into the union energy. So what's the feminine bringing in? Three of Pentacles, stability, foundation, groundedness. Um, this is also... You know, this card can come if you're an artist. Uh, so it shows that you have a lot of t skills and talents that you've been utilizing. So in terms of the union, sh the feminine has um, created a sense of stability and hope for the future, right? There's a lot of optimism also associated with this card. So what is the masculine bringing in? Nice. Oh my God. Another wish fulfilled card. The nine of cups means you're, you feel like everything is working out. You feel accomplished, right? The nine of cups is nearing the 10. Um, the 10 is peace and harmony within all areas of your life. And this is celebrating love, feeling successful, feeling that you're supported. So this is what he's bringing into the union for the next week. Feeling like your wishes have come true um, and feeling that emotional connection as well. So at the foundation we have the four swords. It's the wrong image. So the three swords obviously comes before the four and it shows heartbreak. So the four swords is healing from that heartbreak. So as a foundation, shared energy, both aspects um, have retreated into a state of um, tranquility, rest, rejuvenation, healing. Okay, and we can see that healing still taking place with the feminine, but um, she's in a really good place right now. Okay, so maybe this waiting was causing some heartbreak, I don't know, but this is a good card. This the this says that, you know, you've been through a lot and so you've retreated from a bad situation in order to look after yourself. The crowning energy, wow, five of cups, okay, so this is telling me that, you know, there's mourning being felt between the two. There's 
um, we got a four of swords, which is, you know, the heartbreak and then mourning comes from that heartbreak. So this is a crowning energy. This is what you both desire as an, you know, a future outcome. Um, you know, and it's in the future. This is what you're working towards is five of cups. You don't want to feel alone. You don't want to feel heartbroken anymore. You want these wounds uh, to be healed as, you know, a shared energy between both aspects. So the extended reading will definitely draw out, um, you know, more details. Okay, so what's at the heart? Ace of Wands, another Ace. So this is a spark, a Kundalini awakening, and it's a new beginning that's more in line with spirituality. So go like, go time. So there has been, you know, uh, this clear decision to move forward in the heart space. And so that's why the, the masculine is bringing in the Nine of Cups. He desires to connect on a soul level. You know, um, so what I'm seeing here is an exciting time of reconnection. Um, the masculine is completing a major cycle. The feminine is healing her heart and opening up. And you both desire to close that gap. Final outcome for the feminine. What? The Four of Wands, oh my God, spiritual union and into the physical reality. I use the Four of Wands as confirmation of a twin flame connection. Holy crap. So this is her final outcome, feeling like she has arrived and she's celebrating life with her, her masculine. Um, so this could mean, you know, engagement, marriage proposal, a commitment of some kind. Um, moving in together, buying a home. It's a major, major sense of commitment and completion. Final come for the masculine. Five, or, sorry, four of pentacles. Interesting to see that there. Um, so this is somebody who's holding on too tightly, who's closed off, um, res resistant to change, stuck in their old ways. So let me just pull one card as confirmation. The devil, the ego. Okay, so what I'm sensing from this is the masculine closing off from the ego. The ego um, is a chain that's holding him back, a codependent relationship, an addiction, self-limiting beliefs. So as a final outcome, I feel this, this cutting off or closing off um, of the ego, which is a positive thing, right? I'm seeing so much strength. Um, the universe is on your side, so much love in your heart. And so this is what ha is helping you to, to close yourself off, not be affected in the 3D reality by the ego. Okay, so what is the overall energy of the reading is the Queen of Fire. Interesting. So the Queen of Fire is somebody who's very charismatic, center of attention. She wants to be seen. She wants to be known. She wants people to know her name. So she stands out in a crowd and people are drawn to her, drawn to her light. So this is a, a shared energy of the overall reading for both twin flames. They're in this energy. So the masculine um, could be attracted to this queen of fire, you know, who's holding that ace of fire in her hands. Um, and, you know, the final outcome is the four of fire, right? So much passion, so much love and spirituality here. Uh, so in terms of the, the feminine, this is what she is embodying. All right, so let me pull two cards from, um, call it Baron Reed. Whiz whoa, Wisdom of the Oracle, interesting. The Yang just popped up. Same card over there. So this is extroverted energy. Um, this isn't for any one person, so I'm just going to put it up here. We're not going to read it. So it is a number one. And what I'm seeing here is masculine hands offering or reaching out. 
Okay, so just one card, please, for the feminine first. Serendipity and the masculine. Chop wood. Okay, there you go. Confirmation that you are unchaining yourself. You're cleaning house. You're releasing things that no longer serve you. So I'll read the, the feminine first. Okay, so the essential meaning is opportunity allied with readiness, the awareness of synchronicity, luck, and good fortune appearing as signs and symbols, a magical alignment of events. And so the, the four of wands is my 1111 card, and 1111 is all about synchronicity. It's uh, the wake-up call when you start seeing the 1111 on a clock or, or picking up on synchronicities like, you know, hearing a song when you're thinking of somebody uh, or their name, you know, that kind of thing. Then you know that there's greater forces at work here. So the message from the universe is that they are sending, it is sending you messages. So the relationship message. Spirit has a plan, and that plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time. You have met or are about to meet someone very vitally important to your journey. Someone spirit wants to bring into your life. Only divine forces can plan for this meeting. It is out of your hands. Pay attention to the signs spirit presents. So that's that new beginning, that ace of cups there. Right, you've done the healing, and as a result, your wishes and dreams are coming true, and there's going to be a new start, an activation in the near future, and which is leading to this, you know, your true love, that serendipity, dipitous moment. Spirit has a plan. Okay, so number 42. Okay, so the masculine, essential meaning, being grounded in everyday experience, humility. So the relationship message is nothing is as important right now as doing what you need to do day to day. Let your heart remember that not everything has to be hard won, passionate, or even obviously meaningful. Relationships and friendships go through lulls in the everyday tasks at, um, when the everyday tasks are at center of awareness. This is a perfect time now to hold hands, wash dishes, make a, a fire, read a book, share a meal. That's what this is all about, celebration. Say nothing, stare into each other's eyes. Yeah. Um, pick up socks, tell a dumb joke, and leave space to breathe. The work of your relationship right now is very simple, just to be present. Funny how it takes work just to be all is well, really. All right, so, you know, taking pleasure in, in the simple things of, in life, right? And we see that nine of cups there. That's all about just being freaking happy with where you are. You're pursuing things that make you happy. Um, yeah, so this issue um, needs to be addressed okay so um, you're either closing off to the ego um, or closing off to material needs material possessions so yeah all right so I'm gonna stop the video there and do the extended reasoning reading if you'd like to purchase the reading you could click on the link below and it'll take you to my website all right cheers guys much love Come back to the extended reading, Twin Flame reading. Get in there, what the heck. Alright, so I'm using my smaller deck here. I'm going to pull a past, present, and future position for each card, beginning with the feminine past. The Ace of Pentacles, nice. The King of Cups. And the Ace of Swords, wow. So two aces with a page, something started, something um, that's going to bring prosperity um, started in the past. So we got the Ace of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles. So there was either something was gifted to you, um, you came into some money, but there's this new opportunity there. So you took that key and you began to work on formulating a plan for the future and committing to that plan, which is going to work out for you. 
So the King of Cups could represent a water sign um, or the masculine. So it could also represent the feminine being in this state of balance between your emotions and your, your mental state. Okay, so this opportunity is making the feminine or has made the feminine emotional, but emotionally stable. Um, or this opportunity the feminine feels is going to bring or has brought this masculine um, into her life, right? There's this optimism that's being reflected on the feminine side. So she feels excited about the future manifesting uh, this energy long term. Now the Ace of Swords is coming in the future. So this is making a decision, feeling triumphant about that decision. It could also be communication. Um, cutting things that are negative out of your life. So two aces with King of Cups in the center and the page, there's newness. Um, and like I said, abundance that will flow in. And like I said, it does. Serendipity is on your side. All right, can you see those? Okay. Good. So the masculine is the Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Crown Chakra, and the Four of Swords. So Two of Wands, Past Position. So the, this is an expansion, an opening. Um, we have the Ace of Wands at the heart of the matter. Um, so this is making a decision to um, move in a direction that's more fulfilling to you. And we can see that happening with the Yang and the Universe. So this is making a decision based on what's best for you, not based on fear. So the next card is the crown chakra. So, wow, you know, we got that yang birthing from the crown chakra. And also we have the universe card, you know, in the near future. And the, the crown chakra is that eye opening into the universe, your direct connection to source. So illumination and expansion on a major, major level. Now we also have the Four Swords repeated in the past future. So this is moving to a calmer state of mind, um, healing from a wound, but finding stillness. So we got a double dose of, of stillness, retreat, pause. Um, but during that pause, there's major enlightenment, and that's why we see that you know, those two cards there, the universe and Yang. All right, so what is in the present position is the star, so six of wands, the three of swords, and throat chakra. So six of wands, past position. This is success, feeling like a rock star, being placed on a pedestal, people are cheering for you. And so that would be something that, you know, the Queen of Wands would embody. She is the rock star, the Queen of No Fucks Given. She has no problem in getting on stage and, and shining her light. Um, you know, being that star, that bright star in the sky. Now, the Three of Swords in the present position is pointing again to this Four of Swords. And you can see that's why the Four of Swords is showing up twice, because you're both feeling that energy in the foundation. Um, so the, you're healing from that Three of Swords, though. That's why we got the Star card as a major energy. So I'm sorry if you hear people or the kids playing outside. They're just getting out of school. So, um, yeah, so you're healing, uh, but this healing is coming from a vibrant, energetic, positive um, place. The future, we got the throat chakra, so this is communication. Now we got the ace of swords down here in the future with the throat chakra, so there could be some form of important communication coming through. Okay, so the masculine presence, the nine of swords, the knight of pentacles and the sun awesome so nine of swords past position again being in the mind thinking you know it's almost the same figure sitting here on the rock as sitting here except this is um making a conscious decision to retreat from that 
those negative thoughts, okay? So, and to heal yourself. So we see him retreating. Um, we see it cascading to a point where, you know, you're, he's unable to sleep. He's got these stabbing thoughts. But then he decides to get up and move forward with the Knight of Pentacles. This is a very slow movement, but it's a movement forward. Um, and he will arrive at his destination. We have a Page of Pentacles over here, a Knight of Pentacles in the same suit and a progression towards this final goal. So, you know, whatever this was, um, he thought about it long and hard. And this Knight, uh, Knight of Pentacles also shows there's been a long journey that he's been on. So the, so what I'm seeing here, instead of worrying about something, he is embodying this very grounded, um, determined um, yang. So as a result of moving forward one step at a time, he's going to be moving into the sun. So this is the most positive card in the deck. It is also yang energy, extroverted. Um, so this is also could represent a new beginning. So we have that new start in the future. Um, synchronicity happening um, so this is also return to an innocent free um, state so that's nice to see that Sun card there especially with the four Pentacles and the devil in the future okay near future is the ace of cups five of wands Wow, there you go, confirmation and the nine. So the five, uh, well, we got all wand energy here. So the near future, there's this, um, you know, this incredible passion and, and desire and power that will well up in the feminine. Now the five wands in the past position, you know, this is somebody um, challenging you, standing in your way, it's obstacles. So you overcame those obstacles as the Queen of Wands, right? There's, she's not going to let anybody or anything stop her. So confirmation that this is the Queen of Fire is your energy, the feminine. Uh, you're shining your light bright, and that's what attr what's attracting love to you. Now the Nine of Wands in the future uh, position, we have a progression from the Five to the Nine. So this is somebody that has fighting for something they they desire to finish that you know cross that finish line but there's a lot of exhaustion feeling like you want to give up but you can do it you know whatever this is whatever this challenge is you you are embodying the queen of fire um and so there what i feel with the nine is the spiritual power there's nothing that's going to stop you you're going to step into this leadership role um, and do the things that need to be done, and as a result, that attracts love towards you. A new loving experience, whether it be with the masculine or somebody entirely new. Okay, the masculine that got the universe, so the page of pentacles, the hope card, and what? And the ace of cups, incredible synchronicities. So the Page of Pentacles, past position, we have the Knight of Pentacles as well. So, you know, and then we got the Page of Pentacles over here. So there's this idea that's formula formulating between both aspects about the future. And, you know, it, this is where that groundedness is coming from, this feeling that, you know, your hopes and dreams and wishes are coming true. So the masculine got the same card, hope. Um, which, which is very cool that we got this, you know, page of pentacles, page of pentacles, hope card, hope card, future is the ace of cups, ace of cups, completely mirroring the mask or the feminine's, uh, main position cards. Wow. Cool. And it's coming, you know, the universe is the main position for the masculine. So whatever this commitment was, whatever this decision was, um, it's bringing your wishes and dreams to you, you know, as the Ace of Cups. Um, and again, this Ace of Cups comes with conditions, right? You need to be ready to, to receive that love into your life. So near future, major sense of accomplishment for the masculine and um, 
healing energy, um, a sense of commitment and payoff, completion of a major cycle. You guys are mirroring each other. Wow. Very powerful. Okay, so let's come back to the final outcome later. Um, so the Three of Pentacles, the Feminine, is bringing into the Union. So the Fool, the Knight of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. So the Fool. So taking a leap of faith, taking a chance. Um, this could also be, you know, being foolish. But it's returning to innocence, childlike freedom, um, reckless abandon. Um, so we can see all that energy happening over here. We got new beginnings, you know, two aces in that page that reflects that energy. So as a result of just letting go of, you know, any attachments, any expectations, it's created stability and optimism for the future. So the present position is the Knight of Cups. So this is offering your love movement forward towards love, desiring that love and commitment, right? So this is the courting card. The future, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So manifestation of all this hard work um, that has to do with the union. So this is seeing the fruits of your labor and that having that abundance flowing into your life and that empowers you even further, right? So detachment, but feeling love, um, projecting or reflecting foundation um, and groundedness grows. You know, there's a lot of growth here with that Eight of Pentacles and sense of completion and manifestation in the 3D reality. So that is pointing to, you know, the 3D manifestation of the Four of Wands as a final outcome. All right, so the masculine is the Nine of Cups. So the base chakra, wow, the two of cups and the solar plexus. So we got two chakra activations, base chakra. So this is a feeling of safety, security, um, feeling that your basic human needs are being met. You know, everything, um, you have a job or, you know, um, and the job that you have, it, you know, is, it's a sense that there's a lack there. You know, the job is only providing basic needs. Um, you're, you're feeling triggered in, in terms of your foundation and security. So that has to do with that waiting. Maybe you're not feeling like you have enough, but you're, you want to move forward. You're, you're being drawn, um, by the universe. Do you know what I mean? Divinely guided, um, to move forward. But yet there's this feeling of not feeling safe coming from the past and that's because of this four swords and that's why you retreated you know there was all that mental noise but you got up and you moved forward so the present position is the two of cups spiritual union coupled with the nine of cups holy cow so in terms of the union the masculine um, you're recognizing your twin flame um, you feel deep love true love for her um, you feel that, you know, her, she is your dream come true. Now the near, or sorry, the future position is the solar plexus chakra. So this is having courage and power to overcome any obstacles or challenges. This, this card shows up when you want to exert yourself onto the world. So we see that sun energy also being activated in the future along with the Ace of Cups. So you will... You know, maybe that's why that yang is showing up here, right? It's like you want to give something to the feminine. You want to reach out. You, you will find courage and strength in order to um, do something or just, you know, you're stepping into this energy of, of power as a result of the yang, as a result of this connection. All right, so the foundation, we got that four swords, one for the feminine, strength, and the masculine, the king of pentacles, okay. 
So the King of Pentacles is the provider, right? He wants to look after his family, make sure that their basic needs are being met. Um, so this is somebody who is financially um, successful, very, very grounded, okay? So there may have been some things that the masculine needed to take care of. Um, or, yeah, and I'm kind of feeling it's outside of, of the union, but this, it, that, that need um, is affecting the union itself, even though it's outside of it. If it you know, yeah, um, maybe something was supposed to pan out but didn't, and so that's where that insecurity came from. Now, why the reason why this King of Pentacles is showing up at the Four Swords is what I'm feeling is even though there was a retreat and a need to rest, it was coming from a very grounded place, a very illuminated, grounded place. And that's why he's sitting in that yang energy now. Um, everything kind of worked out the way it should. And instead of concentrating on the 3D reality and the material possessions, he's now in a spiritual place. So the feminine is bringing in strength. So this is using love, kindness, and compassion, right? So when I see that coupled with the four swords, I feel that the feminine is, is in a very kind and gentle space and offering love and kindness and compassion um, during that retreat. Okay, so th that's why there's positive energy in her past being reflected in the union. Okay, so for the crowning, feminine first, five of pentacles, and the masculine, the magician or the alchemist. So another one there. So the masculine wants to focus on the future. He wants to focus all of his attention, his skills, um, and his power on manifesting something for the future. So it's a new beginning. So he wants to you know, get rid of this feeling of lack and sadness and pain um, and, you know, add a spark um, to the connection and start working on manifesting, um, you know, his reality. You know, he, he creates his own reality with the magician. It's a very powerful card. So no more sadness, no more thinking about the past. I'm going to think about the future and, you know, concentrate on that. And so that we can see that happening very much with all, you know, this collection of cards here. So much positivity, so much, you know, um, healing there and activation power with the, the, the sun and the universe. So the feminine's bringing in the five of pentacles. So this is feeling abandoned, left out in the cold, feeling disconnected in 3D reality. So the feminine doesn't want to feel sad anymore. She doesn't want to feel disconnected. Um, she is doing her work. Um, she's healing herself, but she wants that reconnection. So the final outcome, the tower, ten of swords, and the high priestess. So the tower past position, sudden change. So something's going to happen very quickly, out of the blue, something you weren't expecting. Um, and it brings with it a completely different life. So the falseness of um, your reality begins to, you know, crumbles to the ground so that a new foundation can be built upon it. And so that foundation that is being built is the Four of Wands. Ten of Swords is an ending to the dark night of the soul, feeling betrayed, stabbed in the back. Um, so a completion ending. In the future, we have the High Priestess. So this is using your intuition, um, activating, you know, the uh, High Priestess in order to um, discover 
answers or hidden secrets, you know, it's tapping into the subconscious mind. So there is going to be something very suddenly that comes in and it ends very quickly. Um, and during that time, you are the high priestess, you're embodying the high priestess, using your intuition, allowing this, this transformation to occur because it's bringing in the, the four of wands. The twin flame um, union. Okay, so the masculine. So one card from the past first. Five of Swords and the future. Nice. Okay, so the Five of Swords. Conflict, arguing, finger pointing, triggering. So the past there was a negative energy you see that nine of swords the four of swords retreating from that closing yourself off to the devil to the ego cutting that chain that addiction whatever's holding you back you cut it off as a result we got the three of wands so we got the two of wands progressing to the three thumbs up from the universe yeah you did it congratulations the chains are broken you are free to continue on your way awesome so it goes from being closed off to being open. All right, so I hear my daughter coming in. So I'm going to pause it, and then I'll do the um, final messages from the universe. All right. All right, we're back. Yeah, she, she walked in with like seven friends. So they said they're going to be quiet for a few minutes. So that's awesome. Okay, so let's use Enchanted Map. Call it Baron Reed as final message from the universe. One for the feminine first, movement, and the masculine. Aw, come together. Aw, that's awesome. And, you know, that's confirming how he's feeling. Spiritual union and the four of fire up there. Ooh, where's the book? Hold on a minute. There we go. It's not where it's supposed to be. So 28 and 8. So we'll read the feminine first. Okay, so movement. You're in a time of positive forward motion. So that's what the Eight of Pentacles also means as well. So you're in a positive energy with the Hope card as well, the Ace of Cups, the Four of Wands. Yeah. All right. So this is a time for positive momentum. As you come out of a period of restriction, you're in a stage of new adventure and discovery. You may feel compelled to take a trip, change your hair, or move your home or business. Regardless, you can't, uh, you can't remain where you are anymore. You feel compelled to go forward. No matter what your inquiry, you, you will see your dreams take form and doors previously shut begin to open as if by magic. Movement is also a state of mind. The fog lifts and you know your actions you need to take. This isn't a time of fear. Let go and move forward. Yes. Be the queen of wands. Don't give up. Right? So much positivity coming towards you. Um, and I see the fog lifting up here with the tower and ten of swords. All right. So the masculine is the eight. Love needs to be shared. Love needs to be expressed. Drawing the come together card is a sign that you're on a path to discovery, just to discover the nature of this emotion in all its forms of expression, romantic, familial, unconditional, spiritual. In each instance, there is another being involved. Love involves a give and a take between you and a significant other, a relationship, a friend, an animal, or spirit. This card assures you that love has come calling and seeks a partner in stance. Know that you are cherished. Like a magnet, you are attracting love into your life. This is a time for harmonious, caring partnerships. Yes. All right, so that's that attraction, right? Being in a positive frame of mind attracts that energy towards you. All right, so a lot of synchronicities, very cool um, outcomes for this coming week. I'm so happy for those of you who are reuniting. Uh, love is definitely in the air. All right, so um, like, share, subscribe, and please, please leave a comment. You guys, I love the comments, even though I'm not responding to all of them. Uh, I read them all, 
um, and it motivates me. It, it, it helps me um, to know if I'm on the right track, all right? So massive love. Cheers.